Hi, I'm Eric Johnson here at the Owen Graduate School of Management, and I'm here today with Cotter Cunningham. Cotter is the CEO and founder of Retail Me Not, and uh, well, Retail Me Not is certainly a, a big part of our life. I know my wife doesn't buy anything on the web without first checking out Retail Me Not. Thank Great you. Great to have you here today. No, Cotter. thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, tell us a little bit, uh, just to start us off, how does Retail Me Not complement search engines? Sure. So think of Retail Me Not as a, as a marketplace. We're bringing together retailers that want to offer discounts with consumers that are seeking discounts. And so unlike a search engine, which is just going to tell you, you know, here's the best option for you, we're really going to let you kind of compare a great deal at Macy's with a great deal at Kohl's with a great deal at Target. And you can sort of see what works for you and make the best purchase. Well, you've been with us from, from the founding and uh, going public and uh, just amazing, cool, long run. Uh, what is your proudest moments of uh, being at the top of a publicly held company? You know, it's so funny. The, the best thing about being public is that the employees that have been with you a long time can sell their stock. And so there's nothing more fun than coming to work and having an employee that, that's worked for you for four or five years tell you, you know, I just want you to know I sold some stock today and funded my kid's 529 plan. I mean, that's like just such <laughs> yeah. a great feeling, you know, I mean, that's a great day. Being part of their life in a very yeah. kind of intrinsic way. Exactly. It's, it's really fun. It's, I've ridden in a lot of cars that have been bought with IPO purchases. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been known around Austin to be a big supporter of entrepreneurship right. and ventures. And of course, here in Nashville, you know, we're really excited about entrepreneurship in Nashville these days, a lot of buzz going on. What advice would you, you know, give our mayor, who is an Owen alum uh, here in Nashville, or us uh, in fostering that community here? You know, I th from what I can tell, it feels like Nashville already has the right thing established, which is you really do want a community, one that sort of supports each other and helps each other and doesn't see each other as competition for money or jobs or something like that, but instead is sort of supportive and nurturing. I mean, that's the best thing. That's one of the best things about Austin is in general, I know 30 or 40 startup CEOs, and I can call all of them and ask them for advice or help with something. And I don't think, oh, you know, I don't like that guy, he's stealing my employees, <laughs> although that would be annoying. Um, <laughs> instead, it's more, you know, how can I help him? How can he help me? That's great. Yeah. Well, one of the things that's a great part of my job is I get to uh, spend some time with uh, folks that, like yourself who've been on long leadership journeys, and I'm always interested to hear lessons or advice uh, from your leadership journey, things you've learned or uh, ideas you'd like to share. No, it's funny, you know, I think the advice I always give people, and I mean this, it's sort of, you've heard it, it's not new, but, but is be the person that takes the terrible job. You know, um, my, my joke is really the, the job that helped me the most in my career, helped me get to this, this role is I was COO at a company called Bankrate. Bankrate was in West Palm Beach, Florida, and they looked for a long time for someone that wanted to move to Florida, but Florida is great for retirement, it's not great for internet careers. <laughs> and so they had a tough time filling it, and I was like, yeah, I'll move, sure. And you know, it was, it was at the time, the company was going through some turmoil, the stock price fell, and then we, went out, we went public at 13, it fell down to 20 cents or something, just a terrible kind of couple of years. But, you know, I stuck with it, we persevered, it turned out great, the stock got to 50. Um, but that willingness to go there when it wasn't a great company, when it wasn't um, in a great location, that it wasn't clear that it was gonna make it, I think really helped me just enormously. So do the, do the bad thing. That's great, great advice for all those <laughs> folks suffering through some tough times right now. Connor, thanks so much for spending the day with us. Thanks here for now. having me.